I sat down with them about, um, to look at, at this commission that they were giving me and explain to me exactly the people who will be coming and their connections to Ireland and, the, and especially in the places where we will be visiting here and just to try and give a kind of a, you know, there's a lot of history in Ireland, you know, to try and fit it into something under five minutes is, is, is pretty hard. So this, uh, and I haven't got it, I didn't get a chance to learn it completely off your head, so I, I'm sorry, you'll have it's to... It's fresh off the press. Yeah. Fresh, yeah. fresh off the fresh press. Off the yeah. By the way, yeah. I'm going to get some coffee tomorrow as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in the old traditions, when when, uh, when bards would be at feasts and after great battles and things, they would be calling out the names of the great warriors or people who fought well in the in the battles. And so when their names would be called, we, they would get a cheer. So I want you to, to practice your cheer. So, so just cheer. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is going to be great. <laughs> so, and why is a place of ancient history where leprechauns reside? And the troop may appear of stranger than the legends of Hibernia and Cuncullan and, Fi and the Fianna, where the warriors of the day. There's no smoke without fire, and these legends persist, which proves to be maybe there's more to the myths. And sometimes I see tourists with, with uh, some, so, so sometimes I see tourists and often like grown the tweak caps on their heads and ah, it's good to be home. But it always has captured my thoughts and reflections, of just how powerful is the old Irish connection. And as a boy in the hinch, I would listen and wrap it tales of immigration and how they adapted. And these men and these women had tears in their eyes, remembering, the, remem remembering their families and their final goodbyes. And destined for Liverpool or Melbourne, New York, where there's gold in the streets, boys, and plenty of work. Or transport as convicts to work down in Oz or signed up as soldiers for Mexico's cause. And the heart of them all is resided right here, no matter how, no matter how native they went or how cavalier. There in the eyes of each soul who departed, to return once again with the longing wholehearted. And so cave me the you to all you here stood. There's something inside you that's connected by blood. And there's something so special, so proud to behold, that it cannot be bought or traded for gold. That it, and it's in you, it's in me, and these few days will show just exactly how far back our people do go. 80 million claim is a fact that I've plucked. If they all move back home, We'd be royally <laughs> in serious trouble. In serious trouble. <laughs> and, and being proud to be Irish, just what does that mean? Or Irish is Ireland. Is she she or she been? And to try to come up with a logic and answer that handed the reins to this awful each answer. <laughs> Ireland broke off the UK after billions of years, floated it off and just settled down west of Yorkshire. The ice had then melted and life took a hold. The bears, deers, and wolves came out of the cold. Now there's myths and there's legends, and there's legends and myths of warriors, kings, bards, and goldsmiths. From Orient's Galicians and two headed Danans, and the Vikings sailed inland via the Shannon. They plundered and looted, then married and settled. They traded our cattle, imported their metal, and blending in nicely, their culture was mingled, spreading to Waterford, Cork, and to Dingle. Hanlon. Hey. 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 O'Connor. Sadly, a side effect trade to the Normans they landed and went through the blade and brought Barry's, Nesbitt's, Fleming's, Harris, Martin's, Keating's, fame for stonework, Fitzgerald's, Stacks, Tape, Well, Tynan's, Walsh's, Hunt. Yeah. And honour of their conquest was marriage and peace, but as much could be had with a rowdy Irish. And the plantation brought bests, yeah. oars, yeah. Macmillans, yeah. Leslie's, yeah. Hepburns, yeah. yeah. Cromwell, yeah. 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 Turnbulls, yeah. Yeah. the Clements, yeah. Reeds, yeah. the 
Hamiltons. Yeah. 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 Coots. Yeah. 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 Mills. Yeah. 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 And plenty of Wilkinsons. Yeah. 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 And no interest in politics, genocide only, to hell or to Connacht, for living was lonely. And then time had then passed and the peace is restored. Our land of the big house and the blow and landlords. But their Protestant roots they took, uh, they took to our earth. Wolf Tone, for example, Irish by birth. And slowly but surely, peace again took a hold. From commerce and trade, work ethic extolled. Even Paisley himself coming round in the end. Sworn enemies now became giddy best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Some argued his U-turn, a result of the stroke. But deep down he's accepted. He's a true Irish blow. <laughs> and the bloodshed and violence could have all been avoided, minus state propaganda and unequal employment. So I guess it's quite funny to look back at our roots. It's not all black and white with uncomfortable truths. And we're all bits of batter that went in the pot to the famine and pestilence ended a lot. And Cove saw two million depart from her ports, your ancestors leaving in final resort. So now back to the present, and I hope you're not bored. So far, I haven't heard there a snore. <laughs> so, Cade Mila Fell, you're all welcome within. Here's to Ireland, to her people. <laughs> Let the crack now begin. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs>